I'm April. Welcome. Um, this is summer reading, Tales and Tales. We're going to do several different programs throughout the summer. Um, this one is about owls. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about owls. But first, I'm going to read you my favorite owl picture book, Owl Babies. Once there were three baby owls. Sarah and Percy and Bill, they lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mommy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. And little Bill said, I want my mommy. So you can help me say that every time that Bill wants his mommy. The baby owls thought, all owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. To get us our food, said Percy. <gasps> What'd Bill say? <gasps> I want my mommy. But their owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their home and they sat on the tree and waited. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. <gasps> what did Bill say? I want my mommy. It was dark in the woods and they had to be brave for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. <gasps> I want my mommy, said Bill. They sat and they thought, oh, owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah, and they did all three together. Suppose she's lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. And the baby owls closed their eyes and wished their owl mother would come. And she came. Soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah and Percy and Bill. Mommy, they cried, and they flapped, and they danced, and they bounced up and down on their branch. What's all the fuss? Their owl mother asked. You knew I'd come back, the baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah, and I knew it, said Percy. I love my mommy, said Bill. tell you some facts about owls now. Um, first off though if you want to come in and grab a to-go bag we have grab-and-go bags and it has different um, activities in it for different programs so if you come and get it you'll get a sheet with owl facts um, we have owl pellets and craft in it so come and grab that um, but first off I wanted to let you know um, do you know that owls they cannot use their eyes they can't move them so how about you go like this? Can you do this with your eyes? Roll them. Owls can't do that. What they do is they turn their heads. They can pretty much turn their heads all the way around like this. And that's how they see. Owls also, um, with their different eye colors and the color of their skin also, or their feathers show whether they like to hunt during the day or night or where they choose to live. Um, this is gray phased, red phased, and that determines what type of, what color tree they're going to live beside so they can be camouflage. Also with their eyes, dark brown or black, strictly nocturnal owls. If they have orange or red eyes, they hunt in twilight hours. And if they have yellow eyes, they hunt during the day. So let's see, I'm gonna show you this out here. What color eyes does he have? Yellow eyes. So that means he hunts during the day. So that's some information about owls that you probably didn't know. Also, some another fact about an owl is these are ear tufts. So they look like ears, like a dog would have, like we would have. Um, but they don't use these for hearing. 
that's not their actual ears that they use for hearing. These ear tufts are a small bunch of feathers that stand upright from an owl's head but have no impact on hearing. Simply, they are not like human ears. Many think these tufts are used for various reasons such as camouflage, so other predators, they can't see them, communication and aggression to, to defend themselves. So like I said, those are not real ears. Um, the ears that they use are asymmetrical. So one might be like up here on the top of their head and the other might be back here behind their head like that. So then they can like turn, when they turn, they can see which way predators come in or they can hear a noise if they're going after an animal. Um, so asymmetrical means, so we are symmetrical. This is the middle of my face. My eyes are the same distance from my nose, so are my ears. Theirs are not, like I said, it's back here or way back here. And that's the owl's ears. I wanted to show you a few owls that are common to Ohio. So there are about eight different owls that are common in Ohio. Maybe you've seen some of them. And we're also going to listen to the sounds that they make because not all owls hoot. Um, they can um, growl, they can scream, uh, shriek, chirp. There's um, all different noises that they make. And this one right here, the Eastern Screech Owl, he makes a noise. To me, it sounds like a horse neighing or whining. So you'll hear that in a minute. All right, so the first owl I'm gonna show you, and we'll listen to the sound that it makes, is a barn owl. And you've probably seen one of those. And look, the eyes, they're black, so I think they're pretty much nocturnal. All right, go ahead and we'll listen to the sound. All right, so that's the sound that a barn owl makes. That doesn't, that sounds more like a screech to me or a scream. Um, this is a great horned owl. Listen to that. Now that seems to be about the same noise you usually hear from an owl. That to me sounds like a hoo hoo. So let's see this one. So this is what I was telling you about. This is an eastern screech owl. Like I said, it sounds like a horse neighing to me. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Bet you didn't know that one. I didn't. All right. This is a soup owl. Look how cute he is. I like him. Follow owl, I mean. That sounds like a car alarm to me. <laughs> or some type of alarm clock. This is a short-eared owl. I'm sure you're familiar with this one. This is a snowy owl. One more. This is a barn owl. Let's listen to what that one sounds like. Okay. Well, you can look that up. I've got um, a link if you come in and get the uh, grab and go bag. I have a link that will take you to, um, to listen to the different sounds of different birds. All right, this is the barn owl. Did you know that owls cannot chew their food? 
when they eat something, they swallow it whole, but they can't digest the bones and the fur and the feathers. So they vomit. And what you get is a little owl pellet. So this is, disgusting enough, vomit from an owl. But it is quite interesting. So you can grab, come in and grab an owl pellet and you get a, notif or a little uh, identification chart. You pull apart, you've got little tongs if you don't want to touch it, but I don't mind. So you pull it apart, oh my goodness, wow. There's tiny little bones in here and you can kind of match them up with here. You can find out if it's a jaw, if it's a leg, where it comes from, if it comes from a rodent, a mole. This obviously is, I would have to say, some type of skull. I don't know if you can see that or part of a body, I think it's part of a skull. There's some little, there's a teeth and sort of talons. It's quite interesting. But you can take your tongs and kind of get out all that, those feathers. But, oh, yep, there's the teeth right there. So whatever he ate, this is the skull, the teeth. Ooh, quite interesting. So like I said, come pick one of those up. And then that's all I have for the day. But I'm going to uh, turn you over to Kristen. She's going to show you what else is in the back. We have a fun owl craft. Hi, everybody. We're going to do our owl craft now. It comes in a bag. I'll show you the bag that you pick up. It's up here. So this is our June bag, and it has several things in it. And in that is all the owl stuff that Miss April talked about. So in there is a craft. It says owl craft, gives you instructions. It comes with a little sheet. Now this one's purple because not all of our owls are natural colors at our library. So we're gonna take our little square piece of paper and start to make the body. a little tube here and make the body just like that. In our little bag here we have all the things that can make the face, the eyes, the wings, and the ear tufts. I didn't know they were called ear tufts, did you? So what I did is I just taped my uh, feathers on. It's a little bit hard to use glue with. So you can start to put your owl together and in the end it will look like something like this. And on this one here I have um, a pipe cleaner. Put it on your hand just like that. Okay? And that is in the bag for June. You can pick that up at any of our libraries. Okay? We'll see you soon. Thanks.